Welcome back everyone. It took a long time, but I've finally done it. I've got a new Grey Dwarf farm that's working post the uh, nerf that happened for bonfires, campfires and hearths. Uh, managed to make a farm that continues working basically with the same structure as I had before, except this time we're using two braziers, which for some reason devs forgot to list. I mean, when you see it working, it seems like such a simple fix, but we went through a lot of work trying to figure out a way to get this to continue to work. Our first idea was to try and kill them with smoke, so we started building hearths further down and tried to build a chimney structure that would run the smoke into like a gas chamber that we could kill all the Grey Dwarfs in. But uh, after going through this process here that'll run at 10 times speed, you'll see it didn't quite work out. I've got to give some credit to my friend Nug here, who's been spending quite a lot of his time working with me to try and make these ideas uh, become reality on our survival server. We put a lot of hours into this, so thanks to him. Throughout this part here, you can see us, we're basically just digging out a little mini uh, lower section that we're going to try and put some hearth down on the inside of. And as we place those hearths, we put some roofing structure across the top to try and divert the flow of the smoke up into like a gas chamber. Light up the hearths down here, jump out a little door of it, kind of created. Build a little box that kind of runs this smoke up and around into a smaller structure here. And we've got a gas chamber. Let's just test this concept first. I'll go chop out the roof. We'll see how it's slowly filling up more and more smoke. But when I walk in there, I'm definitely taking smoke damage. And yep. even standing here, Actually, standing here, I'm not. Trap him into the corner so he starts taking damage. Oh, yeah, he is. He is. Very little. He's just gotta be right in the corner. Turns out, even if they do take damage, they regen their health faster than the smoke actually kills them, so. Next idea was a brazier. They give it off a lot. It's pretty cool, that thing. We need to hang them above the boats. I still don't know this is going to work, because they could just swing and break the brazier. You're going to sure. hang it off that. Uh, can't hang it off that. Well. Oh shit, I'm going to die from smoke. Eey. Oh, me too. What the fuck? Oh, did you actually die? Yep. Oh, okay, that's funny. So after we established that the brazier would do damage and not take damage, to us at least, we tried to place one inside the smoke-filled chimney area. Then eventually we decided to just get rid of the chimney, uh, try and do it without. And uh, it was difficult to get the mobs to actually walk into it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, can we just steadily try and make this enclosure smaller? So then we started trying to make the enclosure smaller and crush them closer and closer and closer to the brazier while still having enough space to actually spawn. Uh, as the brazier is actually a light source, it forces the mobs to want to run away from it, so if the closure is not just the bare minimum in size, then they won't take damage from it and they'll run to the furthest corner and they won't run back because they're scared of light. Don't. Yeah, that's not good enough. It needs to be further in. Don't take damage otherwise. As one of my favorite sayings goes, why build one when you can build two for twice the price? Here you can see me doing a lot of small tweaks and adjustments to try and get the exact right positioning of the creep spawning um, and taking damage to the multiple braziers that I'm working with. I was planning to maybe go up to three or four of them, but I actually didn't have enough materials on this island. And then I would have had to go sail a boat elsewhere to bring the materials back to forge the bronze to be able to create the braziers on site. So I couldn't bring them through portals and it just, it, it sounded too much, but thank God this worked out. I think I've, I think I've fixed the Great Wolf farm. And in fact I had. Uh, you can see it running here at five times speed for a little bit of time. Dwarf spawn, die, spawn, die, repeat. Just a quick note, the placement of these is very finicky and it can take a little while to get it exactly where you want it to be. And as is becoming habit, here's a little bit of an outtake of the shit talk that seems to go on between us as we're trying to get things done. They're expensive though. Where's the fucking wood? I don't know, it's almost turned them into chests everywhere. Fuck you're an arsehole. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
everything. Come on, do the chest here, I'll do the chest there. You done fucking anything in this game? Like, fuck out. Broke the last base. Tried to build a chimney, didn't work. Just gonna blame me for that as well. Fuck off, the chimney worked. Your idea didn't. Fucking I had an idea, it was your idea, you fuck. Alright, we're just jumping from the farm. Well, someone had to make a video and get the shit patched, like a dog. It would've been patched anyway. You think my video fucking made the devs change everything? I don't... Yeah. I'd like to think I'm that good, but I'm not sure about that. Thanks for watching guys, catch you all next time.